Hello YouTube and welcome to this reboot of Cormorant Aeronology mod. We are taking a look at it once again and it's one of my favorite KSP mods actually and uh, it is designed to build shuttles. Most notably Space Shuttle, Buran, but also with the latest introduction of the Block 2, uh, Mark 3 Block 2, you can actually build some newer stuff and more crazy stuff. And to celebrate it off and show it off in a good way, I have just made this nice cool intro because seeing the Buran launching again, well, it gives a sort of sentimental vibe. But uh, I have another videos where I featured it before, but this one I will feature more in terms of block two and a little bit how to build it, etc, etc. But we can have a quick recap of what Cormorant Aeronology actually is. For those of you that don't know what Cormorant Aeronology is, it's a collection of space shuttle parts and a pretty hefty one. If you just go enter Cormorant Aeronology, well, Cormorant, not Cormoranter, Cormorant Aeronology. Well, there you go. Look at all these parts that you have. So you really, really have a lot of opportunities to choose from. And if you look from the boosters, decouplers, pallets, external tanks, external tank caps, forward reaction systems, and everything that you could dream of, even the secondary cockpit with the skid that we have, will show, landing skids and uh, all that wonderful stuff lifting body a b maneuvering pods and so these guys you can actually use to make either the space shuttle or the buran or whatever your heart desire let me just show you a couple of designs well don't save the craft uh let's show you guys so these, these are actually a collection of craft that do come together with the uh, with the mod or actually you can download them separately. So this is the standard block to shuttle Which is the park of the block two Then you have the standard mark three orbiter, which is basically space shuttle reenactment and then also you have uh, the petrel orbiter which is basically a version of the Buran, if you look at it. This looks actually like the Buran, but to, to be able to show that one, you have to download the Tantares lifting vehicles uh, to be able to have this Energia rocket. And as you can see, it's pretty accurate, including this refurbished OMS mount that is very specific to Buran. So, yeah. I recommend definitely take a look at the Cormorant Aeronology and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. So, historically, when you're trying to build with Cormorant Aeronology, you would go for the Mark III cockpit, which is more or less standard shuttle type imitation. And uh, based on that, you would want to add the payload, which would be the cargo bay, Mark III cargo bay followed by an aerodynamic section and Mark III lifting body A, which gives you this nice slanted backside for the shuttle. Or you could use the lifting body B, which is gives you the straight to be able to mount a Buran. Now, uh, also it provides the nose forward control reaction system that you could be attaching here-ish, which gives you this nice shuttle stock look for the Cormorant Aeronology. If you want to make a Buran, then you can just right click and go next variant, then you get this Buran, which is this white-ish. But to really make a Buran, you should be also changing the Mark III cockpit, change texture, this is for the shuttle, and this is for the Buran. If you see, this gives you this white section, which is very characteristic for the Buran. However, today we're not building uh, Shuttle or Buran. I have actually videos on those featuring Cormorant Aeronology. So take a look at that, uh, those videos. I will be providing them in the description below. Today we're gonna just show the CA Mark III Block Serve Cockpit, which is actually this hairy, very nice cabin with a small landing skid attached. 
and that one is used in conjunction with this wing to be able to be used as an escape capsule. One small additional feature that you might not notice is small, four small connectors behind where you could be adding this four tiny Tim boosters or liquid engines to be said more specifically. So you can place those here and then you could be attaching those boosters here. So this almost like creates a small an escape capsule of sort. So you can retract the wing and retract the skid. Uh, while you might want to have them as a tip map to, you know, separate groups. For example, I'm going to have toggle wing on 9, toggle skid on 10. So uh, then how you continue on with building this? Yes, you go to aerodynamic section and then you put this uh, CA Mark III shuttle serve decoupler and put it here which nicely encompasses this guy. You remove the doublet and gives this a sort of, you know, fatty look style. I really like how it looks and it feels kind of cool. And that also has an inbuilt decoupler. So be careful when you press these engines and decoupler, they should be in the same stage ultimately. Uh, also, when we take a look at uh, Mark three serve wing, then you ha can have this two winglets here. And then it looks like this when it's mounted, but never fear you have the flip your capability and then it looks hunky dory and everything is great with the world. Uh, note that this should be working with I think Elevon, I think CA 2.5 Elevon. Mm, and now it's a matter of finding the right button. Sorry, let me just zoom in for a better view. I think this is correct. Yeah. Oh, no clipping. So, yeah. There we go. Come on. Stick nicely. There we go. So this way you get a small mini escape craft. And to continue, then what you want to be doing is then you place all the other components as you would normally do. So, Okay, so now you go and add the payload bay, which would be this Mark III cargo bay standard. The only thing that this creates a small sort of this kind of cubic part underneath, which is covered by this aerodynamics. And I prefer to use lifting body type B, sort of Buran style but um, which uses a lot of monopropellant. I think we'll just here switch the variant for not the blank, not this one, that one. I think this actually angles nicely in length when it comes to. So uh, next tank setup, liquid fuel and oxidizer. Yes, here I'm gonna do, do just small, you know, test because I don't think this should be. Toel liquid fuel engine. Is it this one or this one should be used? Space transit booster, reduce cost when using Mark III block two liquid fuel boosters. Oh, yeah, well, why not? Let's just stick three of those here. I mean, after all, what could possibly go wrong? Right, when it comes to the fuel tanks, I'm just gonna, for the fun of it, I'm gonna be placing a regular fuel tank, I believe. This would be, I don't know, is it this one? Nope, that's too big. I'm trying to find the traditional. Ever since they changed the texture, it has become hard to actually find the correct fuel tank, for me at least. So these are the Cormant Aeronology and uh, I'm thinking probably it's this Jumbo, yeah, Rocket Rocomax. So let's put this one in here as well. There we go. Just let's put it in the correct color that we all know and love. Then we put Fuel, 
lines. But the, I don't know if this is uh, still an issue, but some time ago it used to be, so let's just close this. There we go. And then let's go back to the aerodynamics. We need the block three shuttle delta wing, and we're gonna be placing those two in mirror symmetry. I think somewhere around here-ish should be fine. Followed by the Mark III L11 bigger. Not that round, come on, not that round. This way around, yes. We put two here and body flap L11 small. This would be the one that would come here then. Then, not that way, that way. Perfect, and they're kind of, as you can see, built modularly to fit. The only issue is that you want to be flipping the tiles pretty much everywhere. There we go. The good thing is that the, the ceramic tiles are beneath so that actually should hold the water and body flap. You want to create like here and then just we place it somewhere towards the back of it. There we go. And uh, then as opposed to the stock shuttle that has like this, I accidentally, you know, guys, when I was creating this, I did something like this. I put this guy here with rigid strutting on, and then I put these two guys like this. And in that case, you do get the shuttle, a Tiderian shuttle at that. So yeah, well, but then again, who knows? Maybe somebody should try it. If it works well, might be actually quite fun to fly. But uh, coming back to the shuttle, we're going to place it here and then we're going to just flip those three tiles. Flip tiles and flip tiles. Perfect. And then for the block three, so let's just see block two actually, mark three. I always mess up this too. So uh, you have this also block three rudder which is, I guess, very handy because then you can just simply place them like this and you get your rudder as well. So this one would be handling the yaw while these two are inactive on the yaw by default. Wow! Yaw and roll and this is yaw inactive, yaw and roll even inactive. Perfect! But that means that this uh, tail is superfluous. So block two. And the only thing that you need to consider then is, well, landing gear. And for the landing gear, Mark uh, three block two provides this beautiful landing skids. How they're handling the coefficient of friction, I have no idea, but I'm willing to give those to a go because I think it will be good fun. So. Let's place them something like this. And I think I'll want to add additional wings surfaces. And I'm gonna be placing these two. Big ass wing. There we go. Ah, I think it will work for the demonstration purposes only, guys. So, speaking of which, you know, staging, I would prefer to have separated the escape capsule from everything. So yeah, let's give it a go, shall we? I'm really eager to see how well those skids work. Okay, three, two, one, ignition. Oh, right, thrust. Ooh, skids are doing quite well. You don't say. And in the very first instance, as you can see, we get the chance to test our escape capsule. It works beautifully. Look, just look at it. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, let's deploy the rear tile wing and deploy the skid for the landing. Yes because we want to be testing that one. Oh, and the, the rest crashed on the runway. Oh boy. Well, no matter. We still have some speed, so let's just 
nicely glide and hopefully bleed off enough speed that we gently land on the sea surface. Success! Well, that pretty much uh, uh, rounds up the <laughs> space plane hangar component of it. And if you really want to save this, for example, like block two, and if you want to continue building it, then you just take it to the VAB where you will hopefully build it into something more sensible like for example this bad boy block to shuttle stock i'm not gonna fully rebuild it because that would be a separate episode in its own right but as you can see it looks really beautiful doesn't it i just think it's awesome Block shuttle delta wing, yes, and serve wing, yeah. So, well, now let's take a look how well this new baby will fly. Three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Well, the shuttle has cleared the tower. Seems to be running solid. It is a more advanced, newer version, seems to be running smoother, well, a bit better balanced for stock, than, that's for sure, and very much in control of what we're taking up with there, impressive. I must say, when it comes to uh, Cormorant Aeronology Block 2, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I like the shuttle. I know that the stock craft that I've been showing you were a little bit unbalanced and stuff, but uh, this block too really, I mean, seems a little bit more advanced thingy. And uh, it has some cool additional features, which I hope I will be able to show you. Let's see how well it flies first. So far, very nicely balanced, I must say. I'm pretty impressed with how it has been done so far. Way better than Corman Terminology, you know, standard one. That one is dancing all over the place. And uh, to be honest, guys, I didn't do a lot of balancing. I just downloaded the, the stock craft that were available from the provider. And then I basically... Oh, main tank or booster stage separation oh look at that and our apoaps already is past 70 wow that's wonderful now let's execute the row program and let's go There we go. To get this baby a little bit more under control. It certainly looks orbit capable. It certainly looks beautiful. It certainly looks heavy. And it has some additional features which might be interesting to show you. Yeah, I mean, if you just look at the amount of remaining Delta V, it's more than orbit capable. However, I'm gonna cut it here, mainly because I want to show the other functionality. If you switch to this, we have the standard OMS orbital propellant. I mean, that's pretty much standard, but that's not the main thing that I wanted to show you. Although you must say, this looks rather impressive. So yeah. Cormorant Aeronology Block 2, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we get back to this, cut this engine and try to do... Well, this would be the parachute, which would be the landing chute. However, there's additional feature. 
Oh, what is that you might ask? Well, that's a tiny escape capsule. And it's pretty impressive. Look at that. Woohoo! It has a very short burst to actually be able to get the hell out of whatever mess you have gotten yourself into. And it has two additional cool features. Deploy the wing. And it deploys a little bit of winglet beside which will help you steer the craft as it descends. And it has even the skid, which if you deploy, think of it as a sort of a landing gear. So, fast forward. I actually think it might be worthwhile that we retract the skid as we are landing. Put this sort of on a high angle of attack and let's hope that we will survive the re-entry, hey? Who knows? Kicking the uh, time physics acceleration all the way it's to its fiery, you know. Demise, the only thing that I don't get with this sort of thing packaged, you would actually ex expect to be having a deploy shoot, right? Or, hmm. Well, we are re entering and the cabin seems to be holding pretty well. The wing is doing quite nicely in short we are falling like a rock but uh, the cabin definitely survived the re-entry which is kind of important i do hope let's see if i can now pick up speed a little bit and then use that speed. Let me just, um, I'm gonna actually put this here, pin it, so that I can actually use the skid, assuming that we survive the re-entry to the point where we will be needing the skid. Does it react to the gear button? It doesn't seem to, well, that would be a, you know, an interesting way of reacting on it come on show me that you are really a lifting body come on lift that body there you go come on you can do it well I have no idea how to land this thing and the ground is coming well that's for sure so let's pick up some speed and see if we manage to pull up in the last couple of seconds and uh, to see if there, this really is an escape pod that everybody has been dreaming about at the back at the KSC, you know. Let's put it a little bit from the side view. 600 meters, come on, come on. Translate vertical velocity into horizontal one, please. Kill off the vertical speed. Make it less than 10 and I'll be happy. Come on. There we go. Less flaring for the final approach. Will I succeed or will I stall just in the nick of the success? Come on. Yay! We did it! Holy crap, we did it! Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Mark II with an escape capsule, or actually Cormorant Aeronology. Cormorant, Aeron Cormorant Aeronology Block II with the escape capsule. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromfork signing off.